This is a race against time trying to stop the two fires that are still very much active across the state of California. Uh, down here in the south, the Woolsey fire at this point is contained by about 47 percent. It's a, quite a bit of progress since uh, Tuesday, I should say, but still thousands of firefighters are on the ground trying to fight it on several fronts because we witnessed over the last couple of days there are still new flare-ups starting new fires in areas where it was all thought to be over. Now, in the north, the campfire has been contained by about 35 percent, but it's still very much active there. Up in the north, there is an entirely different race going on, really, well, again, against time, this time to identify some of the victims uh, the forensic uh, search teams found on the ground. In some cases, they were only able to reach bones of the victims and of course trying to go through an analysis uh, at a DNA lab they are now trying to identify all of the victims and of course remember that there are still people that are unaccounted for officials are calling out on all the uh, concerned uh, relatives and loved ones to make calls uh, to shelters and call centers trying to locate them but of course there is a very grim search still going on up in the north and they are warning against the possibility possibility of the death toll still rising. But in the meantime, California is expecting additional help from the federal government in terms of emergency aid and the recovery process. As we found out earlier today from U.S. President Donald Trump, it will be underway very soon.